today I'm very excited and a little bit nervous to be meeting some of these amazing animals at the UK Wolf Conservation Trust. There are 12 wolves here, so let's go inside and find out a little bit more. 300 years ago, wolves roamed free all over the British Isles. Today, they can only be found in sanctuaries like this. I'm going to get the lowdown on these amazing creatures from Teresa, who runs the Wolves Trust. So, am I right in thinking that all dogs are descended from wolves? It's absolutely true. They are basically the same animal and they do the same things. They wag their tails, they're dominant and their behaviour is, is very similar. So does that mean that you could keep a wolf as a pet? No, it doesn't, oh. because you can't tame or train them. They would not sit or sleep nicely in your house at night without okay. destroying it. So there's a big difference between a wolf and a dog. First up, it's feeding time, and I'm going to help Clive from the Wolves Trust prepare lunch. And what an appetising feast the wolves have in store. Raw beef with a side of chicken wings, anyone? How tasty. Well, for the wolves, anyway. So I hold it like that. Just like that. Put it to the fence and she'll take it off you. Brilliant. And just remember how powerful those jaws are. I know. Have you ever lost a finger? No, no. They're I've all still there. got all Good. of mine. No. They do say that her bite's £1,500 per square inch. That's like the weight of 10 people standing on your thumb. Ouch! There we go. No trouble with those bones at all. Incredible teeth. Quite Such powerful jaws, they're just crunching straight through the bones. Incredibly, these guys are still hungry. Next course, a leg of deer. This feels really weird. <laughs> OK, let's give them some deer, guys. Go! They're so powerful, and that's pretty scary, because now I'm going into the enclosure to meet them face to face. Now, before I meet a wolf, I need to have a safety chat from the resident wolf keeper, Clive. What do I need to know? Um, basically, uh, although they look like dogs, one of the main difference is their bite power. Right. So okay. they have got very powerful teeth. They will greet each other muzzle to muzzle. Um, a lot of people wouldn't like a wolf jumping up to their shoulders and uh, sniffing them around the face, mm -hmm. so we've substituted our fists. OK. So you just stand in a line with your fists out in front of you, and they'll come up and take your scent. And for that walk, you'll be part of their pack. Whatever you do, don't take a backward step. If you take a backward step, they think, oh, they might be frightened of me. What okay. shall I try next? Potential you, prey. You, possibly. <laughs> no, they're, they're fine, these guys. This is 13-year-old Lunka, and she's about to check me out. Accepted. When she takes your scent again, you move around to the side and stroke her under the belly. Keep the other fist, your left fist, about a foot away from her mouth so that if she turns around to reassure herself who's stroking her, she can sniff your fist again. Okay. Left fist out. Le left fist yeah. out. Ooh. Ooh. That's it. Yeah, she fist out. And you've got to wait till she's finished the investigation. Yeah. Yeah. Is she? Here. And keep right. my fist out there. Just about there. Right, about there. There. right under there. Right, right underneath. Right underneath. There we are. There you are. Keep talking to her. Hello. This is amazing. <gasps> Their fur feels fantastic. Well, I can officially say I've had a little stroll with some wolves and survived. Now, wolves are pretty famous to fill their howl, and I've got a howling expert here, Fran, who's going to show me exactly how to do it, and we're going to see if we can get the wolves to howl. are super strong, they're faster than Usain Bolt and can eat a lot of chicken wings. I've only got one thing left to say, and that is... Ah! 